All right, so many of y'all requested just to see see some more firewood cut and stuff. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I just got home from work here. I've got what? Let's see. I've got just a little less than an hour's worth of daylight left out here. So I'm gonna cut uh, cut up some firewood now. Today, what I'm gonna do, uh, since I don't have time to split, I'm just gonna go ahead and do some chainsaw work, and then tomorrow I'll uh, I'll work on splitting it right. So let me just kind of explain my setup here. So obviously this is all for inside the house here. Uh, this is all the good wood here. This is ash and oak. Um, there's a little bit of walnut in here, but mainly ash and ash and oak. Now I obviously I I heat my house solely by by wood stove, and the ash does not. Uh, I don't get the longevity out of it that I that I like. Uh, you know I'm leaving the house you know to go to work. Uh, so I like to get those long burn times, right? And the ash just does not do that for me. Uh, now, however, whenever you come home from a long day or you want that nice quick warm up, the ash is where it's at. It just burns hotter. So I've got a good mix here, and uh, what I like to do is I kind of like to keep it separated, right? So I know, you know, I've got those kind of all night burning piles and the quick, you know, fires or in the springtime whenever you just get those big temperature swings, you just need a one night fire or something like that. So anyway, that's my that's my process here. Um, as of right now, I don't have my wood pile uh, under cover. Eventually, I would like to. So, what I do is now. Let me explain by saying the fact that I need the burn time more than anything out of the firewood. Uh, so I don't ha like to have my wood super super dry. Uh, it just burns up too quick, right? So what I do is I leave it in these log forms. This is how I bring it in. Um, this is on a concrete pad here. This stuff's been out here all summer long. You can see the bark's cracked off of it. Uh, I cut this stuff in mm, February, March, uh, about, you know, and it sat out here in the sun all summer long, dried out. Now it's not 100% dry and I don't want it like that. That's why I leave it in log form. Um, but it's, it's perfect burn for me. That's why I kind of keep that rotation year after year, right? So I go ahead and uh, obviously, like I said, my, my wood pile isn't undercover. Eventually I'd like to get it undercover. Um, but so what I do is I cut and I split what I can uh, pretty quick like. You know that way we get so much rain here in the winter time I like to get it out of the way. So I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to have a bunch of stuff bucked up into log form and then we get a big three, four inch rain, you know. It'll, it'll absorb that water pretty quick and uh, you know, you'll notice it, so. That's my process. Um, so like I said, tonight we're just doing chainsaw work. I'll just kind of go over a lot of questions about my saws. Um, obviously, like I said, I heat my my home 100% with firewood. I also have two other um, two other stoves that burn pretty consistently throughout the winter. So I'm running, I'm cutting a wood for three different stoves, right? Go through a lot. Uh, so these are just my, these are my saws that I have. I'm not sponsored affiliated with anything I'm not saying they're the best or the worst either just showing you what I got now obviously I have three saws now that may seem to be a lot for some and not much for others right uh, but for me you know it, it's this is this is like my vehicle to get me to work right if I don't have a good saw I'm not staying warm in the winter right uh, and obviously you can see I've got three different sizes here uh, a lot is the progression over the years right I prefer a big saw. Uh, I've come to the point in my life, I'm still kind of young and stupid, so I like to have a big saw. I like to get stuff done really fast. Uh, but obviously, we, we'll come here to the first one. This is the first chainsaw I ever bought. Um, it's a steel 250C. Uh, I'm not crazy about that stupid pull start. I actually changed it out, um, and I changed out the sprocket. It was It's like a prosumer model. It was cheap back in the day. I've had this saw for probably 15 years. Uh, at least 15 years, probably even longer than that. Uh, but it's been a good saw, good running saw. It's a little bitty saw. I honestly don't use it much. It's kind of my secondary saw. Um, but yeah, it was a good first saw. I cut up a lot of wood with it. We'll move on to the second one here. This is a steel. This is a 310, MS 310. It's a pretty nice saw. Uh, this is probably an average saw for what most people want to do. This is a, a very quick, this is a step up, I think, from the Rancher series. It's about a 50cc saw. It does, it does fine. I think I've, I've got a 20 inch bar on it. Uh, it does good. It's just not quite big enough for me right now what I want to do. I want to really get stuff done. 
Uh, but I've had this saw for uh, probably 12 years or so. I bought it just a year, winter or so after I bought that saw. Obviously, you need two saws, especially if you're cutting timber. If you get a saw pinched, you need that backup saw. And you can see, obviously, I went to a bigger size. Um, you know, you never want to, you never seem to ask for a smaller chainsaw. It's kind of like a lot of things in this world. So then finally we'll come to my big boy here. This is my favorite guy right here. This is this is the one that gets the stuff done. Um, this is a Husqvarna 576 XP. This is a professional grade saw, guys. Like this is not a prosumer. This is not a consumer saw. This is not an eco. This is a straight up professional grade saw. They cost a pretty penny. Um, I want to say it's in the high 70 cc's. This thing will get the job done, right? Um, I've had it for... I would say eight years or so, eight or so years. Uh, I've got it a uh, 24 inch bar on it right now. I've got a 36 inch bar for it also. It runs both of them pretty dang good. Uh, it, this thing's just a beast with the 24. And like I said, the 36, you can dive into a big oak log and it, it won't hesitate if you got a good blade on it or a good chain rather. So anyway, this is a big heavy saw, um, but I love it because, you know, like I said, I'm still young and stupid. So uh, I can take the weight right now, no problem. But what I like is I can stand normal here and I can cut logs on the ground. Uh, I don't have to bend down every time because of that long bar. I run it primarily with the 24 on we just i don't need that 36 inch bar uh you know just for special occasions basically right but yeah uh 24 inch bar i can stand here and do a lot of work uh, and it's pretty much my go-to saw but anyway that's the progression obviously you can see i stepped up uh over the years but yeah i mean i, I haven't bought a chainsaw in a long time um, I can tell you right now, every single one of those has paid for itself time and time again in the savings of a heating bill. So anyway, like I said, I'll stand there and I will use that big saw to cut up. You know, you can see I've got stuff anywhere around here from, from four inch limbs to, uh, you know, there's some logs in there that are probably 22, 23 inch crossed, uh, you know, and obviously sometimes I handle some really, really big stuff, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, hopefully that's what you guys wanted to kind of. See, I had a lot of questions on it, so hopefully that answered a lot of questions. But yeah, so I'm gonna spend the last few remaining minutes of today out here cutting up this wood. Um, I wanna get enough to where I can probably spend about two days splitting, uh, you know, and then I'll just kind of progress through it, you know, as the season goes on. But anyway, this is what I'm gonna do. I'll throw you guys up on, on go, go fast mode. Um, I'm just gonna kinda put on the old headphones here and uh, just go to cutting, right? Um, a lot of you guys always ask about my headphones. I've used different kinds. These are actually Cove. I'm not sponsored, not affiliated with them. I actually bought these using the promo code off of another YouTuber's channel. I can't remember which one. But yeah, there's, they're just Bluetooth headphones. They've got noise canceling capabilities. Um, you can run them and still hear your music, uh, even running a big chainsaw like that. And the Bluetooth connectivity is, it's seamless. Um, I do like that over them. So. Not sponsored, but they are a good product. All right, anyway, we're gonna get to cutting here. I'm losing daylight. And uh, we'll throw you guys up in hyper mode. So that took, I don't know, what'd that take? 15 minutes or so, four or five songs anyway. <laughs> it's usually how I kind of rate stuff. Anyway, so obviously like you say, like you can see, I can get just a ton of work done uh, with that big saw. And if you're gonna be the guy that's gonna, or gal, if you're, I mean, it's 2020. If you're going to be the individual that tells me that I need to get a saw buck, um, you can just save your breath, right? Uh, this is this is fine. You got to realize every single log here I've thrown in here, so I'm not gonna pick it up again just to set it on a saw buck. Like I said, I'm young, dumb, and stupid, uh, so I'm perfectly fine with crawling around up in there and cutting all that stuff up. So anyway, I've cut it all up here. I've kind of made myself where I've cut everything up top. Obviously, there's still a lot of logs down low, but I'm not gonna spend the time to move it all to one side. That's just not. That's just not me, right? I'm gonna go ahead and split what's on top and then I'll work my way down. You know, the less times I can handle that firewood, the best. Um, 
you know, I don't have any machinery or anything. All these logs were brought in. Um, you know, I cut them to length. You can see they're roughly about four to five lengths long. Uh, everybody always asks about the length. And I can tell you right now, whenever you've you saw these lengths, you know, 50,000 times over the years, you can get, you can eye it pretty dang close. Um, I try to fill my wood stove up, obviously, as full as I can get. I don't like those little butt end pieces or nothing. So I kind of judge it as I cut the stuff in the timber. Um, I'll even make hash marks sometimes as I go down through there, you know, um, in the log. But, yep. So anyway, I've kind of worked myself out of, out of a job here by so chainsawing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start splitting. Now... I've just got a little bit of daylight left. It's not worth me pulling out the gas splitter. Yes, I do have a gas splitter. Everybody's always concerned about that. Um, but you can see a lot of this little stuff here. It's, uh, it keeps me from going to the gym, right? So I'm going to break it up. You know, that bigger stuff out there, I'll, I'll bust out the log splitter for. Um, actually, once I get all this cut up, if I have an evening, I'll probably just bust out the log splitter for one good go. But I've only got about 15, 20 minutes of daylight left. So I'm going to spend the, evening, or the rest of the evening here uh, breaking stuff up. Now I break it up and I sectioned off an area of my garage where I can store out and round about, depending on weather, um, three weeks to a month of wood inside. Uh, so it's good and dry. You know, that stuff that I'm bringing in to burn has not been sitting outside. That's why I don't mess with tarps and everything else like this. Because, you know, it's stuff that goes in, it's, it's been in there for a good minute. So this is just my system. Obviously, it's not perfect and obviously it's not like everybody else's. Um, but, you know... It works for me. So anyway, guys, I'll put you back up on go-go fast mode and uh, I'm going to spend the evening here breaking up some of this smaller stuff by hand. And then, uh, like I said, whenever we have a little bit more daylight, we'll drag out the old brave. And <laughs> It's getting dark. It's getting real dark. Um, anyway, so that was hand splitting for almost exactly 15 minutes. Um, now, obviously, that's going to be about the easiest hand splitting that I do. You know, a lot of those logs weren't more than about 8 inches, 8, 10 inches round, across. And the majority of them were one-hit wonders, right? So, But you can see here, I've got a pile. Uh, I know the camera probably doesn't do it justice, but there's a decent-sized pile here. It's, you know, about titty height. And... Uh, yeah it's a pretty good pile this is this is what gives me you know this will be probably realistically about a week week and a half of burning um whenever we've got temperatures hovering around freezing in the winter time right so obviously this is the reason that i went with a stove over a wood furnace or a boiler uh simply for the fact that you know i don't have property uh as of yet you know that i can go cut firewood on um and not only the fact, I just, I mean, I don't really, really enjoy it. Um, it's work. I mean, I don't hate it, but yeah, you just burn a lot less wood with an inside stove, I, I, I honestly believe. So anyway, um, like I said, I give her a good, you know, about 35 minutes tonight. Uh, I've got quite a little bit, probably the equivalent to this pile here left that's already sawed up um, to be able to split. But yeah, that's kind of just my go-to routine uh, to get ready for winter fire season. Uh, obviously, like I said before, I burn, um, I've been at this particular place for five years, and I burn a very consistent six months out of the year. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of my process. You guys really asked for it, and uh, here it is. Obviously, everything's kind of subject to change, but uh, yeah. This is this is kind of my my daily routine or you know whatever you want to call it for getting ready for firewood cutting or firewood burning rather so anyway guys it has been a long day of work and I just uh, did my workout for the day so I am gonna sign off here with you guys uh, if you enjoyed this video do me a favor hit that thumbs up button I really would appreciate it if you have any uh, comments or concerns regarding stuff you saw in this video definitely uh, you know leave leave that down below in the comment section I'd love to hear about it love to hear your guys opinions and uh, you know we'll try to maybe answer those in a future video with that being said, everybody, as always, I appreciate the view, and we'll see you all next time.